Hello, good evening everyone. Welcome to the class. How are you doing today? Can you guys Hello, hear me? Here I am. Okay. Perfect. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Jorge? Uh, fine. Uh, this is my last my my last day of um inability. Or right. ha I have a sick but I feel better. Okay, so you go to work tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> tomorrow is my last day. Yes, oh, yeah. really? But, yeah, but like going to work to the school, right? Because online, I have been working <laughs> all these days. Oh, yeah. It's very nice for you because you take nap. Uh, every day yeah actually you know what um i don't feel really sick anymore but the medicine that i'm taking makes me sleepy so mm -hmm. i am not able to drive right now okay uh what's what uh what kind of uh pills or medicine are you uh, taking drinking i don't know I am taking, I don't know what is, these are my medicines. <laughs> I don't uh, know Let me see. It's, you have a mini pharmacy. <laughs> yeah. Home. It is called, I don't know what it's called. It's. Loratadina. AP Club. And then the other one is Dextro del Compuesto. Antibiotic. Antibiotic. Yeah, I had an infection. Oh. And it says, well, the one is dextrodel, uh, like it's like amoxicillin acido clavulanico, and the other one is cetaminophen, fenflefrina, chlorpheridamina. Yeah, all those. That one makes me sleepy. Chlorpheridamina? Yeah, that one makes me sleepy that I want to go to bed. Okay. Yeah, it's really. You say, uh, you can say te desnarizonare. Te desnarizonare. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Uh, when you say chlorpheridamina, uh, I hear it's difficult pronunciation. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's because it has chlorpheridamina, but it okay. has fenlefrina as well. Oh. Fenlefrina. That was the. It's, it's like, a, like one pill has all these things like acetaminophen, fenlefrina, and chlorpheridamina, and dextrometorfano, all those things. So that one makes me really sleepy, so I'm not able to drive. And I drive a motorcycle to my job, so nah. You, you yeah. have a motorcycle. Yeah, oh. I do. You have a friend to an accident? or? or... I have had accidents already, but yeah, 
hey, you know what? I was taking a car, the place where I work is a rural zone. So oh, okay. the, the street is really bad, like in really bad condition. So I was paying a lot every month to fix my car, like a lot of money oh. because yeah, everything was going down. So now that I have the motorcycle, I only pay the gas. And yes. it, I don't know how much I make like, so I, let, let me see. So 34 kilometers every every day, 34 kilometers. Okay. Yes. And for gasoline, I pay $6 a week. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even, better, yes, even yeah. better than taking the bus. Okay. I was a motorcycle uh, for uh, five years, but I have an accident. And my family uh, say me that I sell the the motorcycle. I had to to sell it. <laughs> I had an accident parking the motorcycle. <laughs> I was I was uh going with the with the gas, okay, with the gas. Yes. So I was like pressing the gas, and then I was pressing the brakes at the same time. But I don't know something happened with my head that. It, Esto pasa mucho con las motos, siento yo. Que uno tiene que dejar de acelerar para, y, y uno como que se afianza porque siente miedo de que se va a caer y sigue acelerando. So that what, yeah, that happened to me. And it's I, automatic. Yeah, it's an automatic one. It's uh, like, Navy. Yeah, Honda Navy. Okay. <laughs> I love that motorcycle. I love it. Yeah. Yo, me too. I have a Ninja. I was have a ninja. Nah. But it's uh, adrenaline. Uh, nah. I, I prefer, don't know. You know, it only uh, has, well, it only can go up to 70 or 80 kilometers per hour. That's top. Like top, really top. It doesn't okay. go. It doesn't go that fast. Okay, excellent. Let's go with the attendance, you guys, because it's time already. I we were talking sorry, about. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay. It's okay. It's okay, you guys. Okay, let's continue. Um, hello everyone. Welcome to today's class. Thank you very much for your attendance. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate it, and I appreciate your time. Remember that we only have today's class, and then we only have two more, right? Like we have uh fridays and then mondays i just want to remind you please okay that we have to be working on the platform okay to the ones that are already finished congratulations excellent good job but to the ones that haven't um finished yet please try to work on the platform because we need to be done with the platform by tomorrow so on friday i can send the last report of your grades Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry. Uh, so I can send the last uh, report of your grades. And then on Monday, we come here to the class to do the survey, right? That the survey we have to do. Okay, so please be working on the platform. Remember that the platform and the attendance to the classes, it's really important, okay? Let's go with today's attendance. Adán Antonio Ramírez Aguirre. Present, please. Good evening a todos. Good evening. Welcome. Carlos Amilcar Campos Palencia. Present. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Present. Jonathan Stanles Pérez López. Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Present, Miss. Ka I mean, sorry. José Ernesto Lemán García. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar. Present, Miss. Feeling better, Karen? 
Yes. <laughs> okay, excellent. A Mar little bit. <laughs> okay, that's better. Marco Antonio Vanegas Corleto. <clears throat> Mario Antonio Reyes Berganza. Mario Present teacher, present. Okay, Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Present, Miss. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Present, Miss. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. Noé Aníbal González López. Present, Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Present, Miss. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present. En Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Present. Excellent. And also the baby is present as well. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh. I love babies. Wait a minute. Mario, Marco, good reason because I have to work over time. Okay, Marco, thank you. Um, okay. Be beautiful babies, te teacher. What is sorry. it? The babies Be are beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> your baby, your baby is a boy or a girl? Boys. It's a boy. Boys. What's it, what's his name? Jaden. Jaden. Yes. How old is Jaden? In one month. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> the leader. So he was born when we started the classes. Yes. He's going to be bilingual. Bilingual, yes. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. That's good. Excellent. He said, yes, babies are beautiful. I love babies. Okay. Let's continue, you guys. So yesterday we were talking about should, and also we were talking about could, right? As you can remember. Give me a second. <clears throat> okay, so should and could, they are like, auxiliary or modal verbs, if you want to call it like that, that help us give another meaning to what we're saying. Now, could is the past of can, but in this case, we're not using could as the past of can. We are using could, we're using could as a possibility, right? To ask permission in terms of possibility. So for example, for affirmative sentence, you can use subject, then you use could, then you use the main verb of your sentence. And now this is in base form, okay? <clears throat> and then we add a complement. So for example, I can say, I could say that. Yo podría decir eso. I could say that, okay? It is incorrect if we try to say, I could to say that. That is incorrect because I don't need the infinitive form. I just need the base form of the verb, which is say, right? Let's give another example. Now, with she, we're not going to follow the S rules. No, with the models or the auxiliaries, nothing changes, okay? So it's the same for everyone. For example, here, I can say again, she could say that, right? If you pay attention, the same thing, we are saying in both ways. We're just changing the subject. Now, we don't use S because it's not present simple, right? It's not present simple. So we don't use it. We don't do it like that. Now, <clears throat> to make the negative forms is easier. The only thing we have to do is go with the modal verb, but in negative form, like couldn't, right? So we have subject plus couldn't, plus the verb in the base form, and then a complement as well, okay? <clears throat> so again, the only thing that I'm gonna change is that I'm gonna say couldn't, couldn't, right? For example, I go and say, I couldn't say that, no podría decir eso, I couldn't say that. Or with the example of she, the only thing that I'm going to say is couldn't, the same thing. She couldn't, Esmeralda, el audio, 
she couldn't say that. Okay, she couldn't say that. Okay, but it's the same thing. If you pay attention, we're using like the same structures. Now, if I wanna cut it. Yes, I have a question. Mm -hmm. in, in that case, what is the difference between should and could? Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Yes. So should is to talk about advices, right? You give advices with should. Now, could is to talk about possibilities. Okay? Like asking for permission. In that case, you're going to use could to ask for permission. Now, with the uh, uh, interrogative structure that I'm going to explain, you're going to see how you can ask permission with could. Okay? <clears throat> now, let's go. So we have could for questions, right? Could plus, <clears throat> sorry, plus the subject plus the verb in the base form, right? Oh, sorry. Plus a complement and plus a question, all right? Okay, so in this case, like I was telling Karen, we use could in the questions to be polite. Yeah, we can be polite with could, but we can also ask permission with could and being polite, right? For example, they can say, could you pass me the salt? Okay, could you pass me the salt? Yeah, and then I can say, please, to be extra polite. Yeah, podrías pasarme la sal, por favor? Yeah, so I'm being polite. What is the meaning of polite, you guys? Political? Mm, well, <laughs> in a way. Educadamente. Yeah, excellent. Thank you for your participation, Sarah and Aníbal. Yes, it's like to be really, really good, good manners, with good manners, okay? So could you pass me the salt, please? And I can also um, be polite and asking like, could I sit next to you? ¿Podría sentarme aquí a la par suya? For example, here, when I have my students in, 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 in the classes, in the classes, like in the classroom, we don't say, uh, like, can I go to the restroom? Porque yo no sé si usted puede ir al baño. <laughs> ¿Le enseñaron? And you? <laughs> so it's like that, right? So in English, we say with may. May I go to the restaurant? But that is another model bird that we're going to pay paying attention later, okay? Now, so these are the three structures we're going to use. Now, to answer, again, we only have two options to answer. First, you can say yes, I could. Again, uh, we answer with the same auxiliary we're using or we say no we couldn't no i couldn't right okay like that then we have the next one could i sit next to you could i sit next to you yes you could or negative form no you couldn't like that okay questions so far you guys no questions sure for example when you want to ask permission to your boss not to go to what is it like to work because you have something important <clears throat> you can say could i have the day off please because my mother is sick. Could I have the day off, please? Because I am sick, whatever, right? Okay, let's continue. Now, let's do an activity. Now, here we have different options. Let's pay attention to this. We have um, four situations. We're not going to pay attention to this one. And we're going to make, it says here, read the situations and write a sentence expressing possibility with could. Share the sentences with your classmates. So per each situation, we're going to write one sentence with could. Then sentence can be a sentence, affirmative, a negative, 
or a question. For example, the first one says you don't have a car. So what do you say with that? I'm gonna write one situation here just to give you the example, okay? Uh, you, let's see. You feel tired and sick. You have a doctor's appointment. You know what is an appointment? Like a cita, right? At the doctor. Cita. Yeah. So you have a doctor's appointment. What is the sentence that I'm going to write for the situation? Okay. I could ask permission I don't know only in one shift. Do you know what is a shift? Policía? No. Shift. It's like the schedule. Horario. Exactly. So for example, you have two shifts. Morning shift, after, well, three. Morning shift, afternoon shift, nine shift. Okay. So you could ask permission only for in one shift. Okay. So for example, if you have the appointment in the afternoon, in the afternoon. Another sentence that I can say like this one. Could I have the day off, okay? Those are two sentences that I can use with this situation. Now we are gonna write one sentence per each one of these situations. When we come back here to the main session, every breakout room is gonna share the sentence they have with us. Yeah, the activity is clear. Okay, I'm gonna send you the... Wait a minute. Okay, there you go. Remember, one sentence per situation. And then we're going to come back here and share with our classmates the sentences we have. Let me see. My goodness, wow, a lot of listeners in these classes. Wow, amazing. So remember you guys, you can always tell me, hey miss, I'm a listener because of this and that, right? You can tell me. Okay, let's go.
Okay, everyone, get ready. In one minute, we're gonna share the sentences with the classmates. One more minute. Ese suspiro tan grande, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my daughter. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue here. Okay. Uh the group number. Let's see. We have one, two, three, one, two, three. A ver, voy a dejar aquí el mouse. <laughs> The group number two will start. Edgar, Jorge, Marvin, Marco. I think, no. Only the ones that were there. Okay, can you share your answers, you guys? Uh, let me share. Okay. Um, okay, in this moment. Okay. Number one, you could buy a car next year. Number two, we call you sick two. Number three, you could request the document by the post office. Number four, you call, take a nap now. Uh, number five, you could lend me five dollars, please. <laughs> <laughs> Only five dollars, oh my God, more. Okay, excellent, thank you very much. Only four pupuses. <laughs> yeah, you know, guys, I was thinking like 10 years ago, what you can buy with one dollar 10 years ago, what you could buy there, now you can buy it for with five dollars. Yeah, it's crazy. The prices are. Ooh. Okay, next group. It's gonna be group number one. Okay, uh, number one is Daniel, Gabriela, Sara, Sergio. 
go ahead, you guys. Okay. I start on it. You couldn't have a car. And Number two, someone of your family could be sick. Third sentence, could you need to request a legal document? And number four, you could feel tired, 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 tired is okay, tired. Okay. And you could feel sick. Okay, and fifth, you could go to the cinema. Okay, excellent, you guys. Thank you very much for your participations. Let's go finally with group number three, which is Karen, Aníbal, Noé. Mario, let's go. Okay, Miss. We didn't finish. Oh. Yes, but we try to do. I don't know if if we confuse the activity. No, but it's okay. Find... It's okay. Ah, okay. The first is you don't have a car. Could you borrow me your car for this day, please? But in this case, I have a question. I don't know if if we need to say, could you borrow or could you let me? Let lend, me. Lend me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and number two, <laughs> someone of your family six, you could go to the doctor with your father. And number three. Me. Okay. Go ahead. Well, you need to request a legal document. <clears throat> could you ask? Could you ask if you're the lawyer for the legal document? Right, and the, well, the is extra, right? So could you ask could your you ask? lawyer? Okay. But the, okay. The, the is extra. And the one that says you feel tired and sick, you can <laughs> say what? I don't know. Could you take a day off or something like that? <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, you guys, for your participations. Excellent. Now let's continue with the next activity. I'm gonna share the next activity with you. This is just to practice could and couldn't. Remember, could we can use it for possibility? But as well as I explained it to you, is the past tense of can, okay? So for example, if I say, I could run when I was five years old. I could swim when I was 10 years old, okay? So also you can use it for activities in the past. But if you're using it for a request, now is podría. But if you're using it in the past, is podía, right? Okay, now let's go with this activity here. Okay, could and couldn't. It says could and couldn't. First says write correctly the sentences. So we have she, her, visit, grandma, could. Obviously all of this is unorganized. So we need to organize it again. So obviously the subject goes first and the subject is she. Then the modal or auxiliary, what would it be? Oh, oh, Good. Oh, then oh, the verb, what is the verb? Visit your mother. Visit. 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 Her, her grandma. Grandma. Okay, so that's the first activity. Now in this part says, write the sentences it from the, the first exercise, but in a negative form, right? So what do we need to do is rewrite this sentence, but in negative. So what is the only difference in negative that I'm gonna write? She couldn't, she couldn't 
visit, oh, was it, sorry, <laughs> visit her grandma, okay? Now we go down here. So you're gonna do that with all of these sentences. Now, in the third activity here, we have, look at the table and complete the sentences with good and couldn't. For example, you have here about Harry and Rachel, the activities they couldn't and the activities they could. For example, Harry couldn't run fast, but Rachel could. Harry couldn't speak Russian and Rachel couldn't either, right? So we have here, the X mean couldn't, and the checks mean could. Okay, so let's see, based on the on the chart that we have here. Uh, run fast, Harry could or couldn't? Couldn't. 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 Mm. So we're gonna write, couldn't. But Rachel? Cool. Good. Okay. Then I go up here, then I click on finish, check my answers, and you see, we were right. And you see, we were right. Yes? Do you understand the activity? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna send you the link. There you have the link, okay? Let me see. Wait a moment, I need to see if all of my students are going to the correct breaker room. Yes, I'm going to go out. Okay. Let's go. Miss. Yeah. Can you tell me again, please? Okay. What breaker room were you in? Well, let me see. Karen, in the breaker room number three. Okay, Karen. I'm going to send you to number two, but don't join, okay? Okay. Then I'm going to send you to number three again. There you go. Thank you. There you have the invites, please let's go to the breaker rooms.
Hola. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Gracias, salió bien. Estoy en clase, le hablo más noche. Jose, welcome to the class. I send you an invite. Thank you. Thank you. Me.
Okay, you guys, I'm waiting for one group, okay? Only for one group I'm waiting. Uh, meanwhile, this group finished, the other groups can practice pronunciation because I see you're really quiet right now, okay? You can practice reading the sentences because I'm just waiting for one group. One or two minutes, but I want to see you participating. You're really quiet. Does that mean calladitos? Let's see. One group, one or two more minutes. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's do some activities, okay? Okay, let me see. What is the answer? Okay, so this one was... Your microphone, Panel. No, but you're still listening to the concert. Okay, so number one was she couldn't visit her grandma. Oh, I mean, she could visit her grandma. And the next one was she couldn't visit her grandma, okay? Now, the number two is they... They could play in the park. Okay. They couldn't play in the park. Excellent, good job. Next one. Uh, what is the answer for this one? We could eat a lot of food. And the negative? We couldn't eat a lot of food. Excellent, next one, let's see. Uh, Jorge, can you? Oh, sorry. Okay, we could watch a movie in the cinema. We couldn't watch a movie in the cinema. It's you, right? The subject? You. Yeah. You. you. Okay, excellent. Uh, next, next one, Sara. Um, hold on. This one? Uh, they could drive a red car. The negative they couldn't drive a red car excellent thank you very much sergio can you help me with this one you could buy shoes 
negative. You put them by shoes. Excellent, good job. Let's go with Gabby. The, the dog cool from in the park. In the negative sentences, the dog called him crying in the park. Excellent, thank you very much. Okay, in the next one, following the chart, let me see. What is the answer <coughs> for the number one, Jose Ernesto? Mommy. You don't have it, Jose? Uh, Harry? Harry? Um, I don't know what uh, Harry? Look, it's negative. Look here. Look here. Uh, so, Darren. Huh? Darren, no. Couldn't. Couldn't. Harry couldn't run, too, but Rachel, 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 affirmative. Good. Good, exactly. Thank you very much. Next one is uh, number two. Please let's go with Daniel Enrique. They couldn't speak Russian. Okay, let's go with number three. Uh, Carlos Amilcar. Uh, Harry could ride a horse, but Rachel couldn't. Excellent, thank you very much. Uh, Esmeralda, can you participate? Um, Edgar Edilson. Aníbal. Me siento así como en la película del Titanic diciendo, ah, yeah, yeah. Number four. Ya, yeah, number four. Okay. Uh, Rachel could, could play the guitar, but Harry couldn't. Okay, thank you. Play the guitar. And let's go to the number five. It is about cookies, okay? Noe Perez, can you participate? No? Uh, Sara, can you participate again, please? Yeah. Okay. Uh the port five please oh okay they could cook cookies they could cook cookies <laughs> that's like a tongue twister <laughs> yeah <laughs> they could cook they could cook cookies yeah that would be excellent okay let's go here with the next conversation we have this conversation is on page number 43 okay i'm gonna read it for you if you have questions and you can ask me Good afternoon, Ash, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, no yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay, questions? If there are no questions, I'm going to say Yeah, okay. It's procedures. Procedures, yeah. Okay. 
another one. No questions? Okay, if uh, you don't have any more questions, then I'm gonna send you the pronunciation. Wait, I'm gonna send you the conversation first. Okay, there, I'm gonna go with the pronunciation. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome. Give me a second, please. Good, af Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No. No yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. First, okay, remember you guys, please let's go with in pronunciation first. Practice the intonation as much as you can, okay, because Si repiten una palabra muchas veces mal, se les va a convertir en fosilización. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. A question. When say Mr. Wright, uh, okay, where do you want to start? Is cuando o donde? Where is about place? So means donde. In the one, two, three, four, and a five, five line. No. <laughs> I'm giving you the answer, Jorge. It means uh, donde. Where? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> es que usted me contestó, me dijo en donde estaba y yo le estaba dando la respuesta. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Okay. It's okay. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness. We have a lot of oh, yeah. Son cuatro que mande a una sala estén participando. Okay, I think I think. Okay, let's go.
Puedo Again. criticar. Yes, uh, other person, Mario. No, Mario. Si no, démosle, Sergio. Ok. Hello, Sara, what happened? Um, my internet, se, my computer se desconectó. And what break room were you in? Mm, se me desconectó antes que nos enviara a las, oh. a las salas. Ok, so number one. Ok. For company? No, not yet, sir. Ok, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Ok, remember you guys that sir, se dice como con e, sir, y también first, yeah. first, first. First. Yeah. First. And aquí está Sara también ahora en la sala para que puedan practicar con ella, ok? Oh, ok, thank you. Excelente. Okay, Nep. Um, I try to start again, but someone else practice with yeah. me. Actually, I am actually. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and role of our company? Not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? What about to re request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay. Yes. Good afternoon, Ashley. And welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. You know the procedures and roles of our company? No, no yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how they request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay, thank you. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, the next participant. Jorge, again? Okay, Gabby.
lo vemos en la compu. Okay, welcome back. So let's have some participations for this. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's go with Carlos Amilcar and Jose Ernesto. Okay, Carlos Amilcar, you start. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Ashley, uh, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? Well, I'll have to request a permission. Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Excellent, good job. That was really good. Excellent, you guys. Let's give an applause to the classmates. Good job. Okay, no, no mistakes, actually. I think this is an easy conversation. Okay, Mario Antonio and Marvin Enrique. Mario Antonio, you start. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hunt. You know the procedures and roles of a company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Excellent. Good job. No mistakes. Really, really good job. Okay, now let's go with Jorge and Gabriela. Jorge, you start. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Gabi? My microphone. Was oh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you. First. Excellent. Good job. Let's give them an applause. Good job, Thanks. you guys. No mistakes, actually. Let's go with Karen and Sara. Karen, you start. Okay. Good afternoon, Isley. And welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay, excellent, you guys. Very good. No mistakes in this conversation. Amazing. And applause to everyone. Finally, no mistakes. <laughs> Let's say it was an easy conversation. Okay, now, next activity. You know, always... Down below the conversation, we have some questions, right? So we're going to answer those questions. Can you help me reading the question number one, please? Uh, Sergio? Who is Ashley? Excellent. And can you help me reading question number two, please? I don't know, Gisela, can you participate? No, I'm guessing no. Aníbal? Number two. Yeah, please. Who is the person in charge uh, of, of introducing new employees to the company? Okay, we're going to answer these questions. These questions are pretty easy, actually, to make. Okay, no, I mean to answer. Let me see, give me one second.
I'm going to give you no more than five minutes because it's an easy activity, okay? Okay, let's go. Thank you. 
Okay, let's see the answers. Let's go with question number one. Oh, wait. Your classmates are not here yet. I mean, these questions is pretty. These questions are pretty simple. Okay, let's go with question number one. So the question number one says, who is Ashley? Gabriela, who is Ashley? He's a new employee. Excellent. Ask the next question to another participant, please. Mm -hmm. Wait a little time. Daniel. Who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? The Mr. Ray is the person in charge of introducing new employees. Excellent. Good job. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go with the next activity. It says read the procedures to request a permission at the TAZ company. Okay. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna do this activity right now. We're gonna read, and then after we finish the reading, we're gonna do the next activity that says number four there. It says, make a list of situations in which you could request permission, share and compare with the other classmates. We're gonna do that, okay? Let's see. Procedures to request permission. First, print the request form that is available on the intranet. Fill out the form. Three, write the reason for the permission. Four, write the time and day you will be absent. Five, specify if it is due to medical or personal reasons. Six, ask for the department manager signature. Seven, present the form at the human resources office. Eight, the human resources assistant will receive the form and sign it if it is accepted. Nine, if the human resources assistant does not accept the form, the permission is denied. Can, do you have questions? Yes, um, what is the mean of intranet and the first? That is like a network only available for the company. Okay, thank you. No more questions? No question. Okay. I'm gonna send you the audio. Procedures to request permission. Number one, first, print the request form that is available on the intranet. Number two, fill out the form. Number three, write the reason for the permission. Number four, write the time and day you will be absent. Number five, specify if it is due to medical or personal reasons. Number six, Ask for the department manager's signature. Seven, present the form at the human resources office. Eight, the human resources assistant will receive the form and sign it if it is accepted. Nine, if the human resources assistant does not accept the form, the permission is denied. Okay, when you finish reading, practice reading first. And then we're going to make a list of four situations where you can request a permission. Be it sick, your family is sick, a personal permission to do like, I don't know, to run some errands, whatever uh, reasons you have to ask permission for. Okay, let me send you a screenshot of this to the WhatsApp group so we can go and do this last activity. Be happy because it's almost time. And remember, after this class, we only have two more classes, which is tomorrow's and Monday, yeah? And then, bye-bye.
Why present? <laughs> okay, let's do the It's last a joke. <laughs> let's do the last activity, you guys. Okay, there we go. Hello, Karen, what happened? I have a problem. With, with the myself. connection? Yes. Okay. Um, did I send you to a breaker room? Yes, but I don't remember the number of rooms. It was two. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Remember, we have to participate. Veo unas salas con todos los micrófonos y cámaras apagadas. Yeah, we have to do this activity. Yes.
Okay, you guys, I know it's time to go because it's 10 already. So I know we all want to go do the same thing, right, Mimi? So let's go with the last attendance, okay? Pay attention, say present or I'm here. And the last activity, I know we didn't have time to finish, so we're going to finish tomorrow. Adán Antonio Ramírez Aguirre. Present. Carlos Amilcar Campos Palencia. Present. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. Present, Miss. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Present. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Present, Miss. Jonathan Stanley Pérez López. Antes de continuar, recuerden terminar la plataforma, por favor, por favor. Ok, let's continue. Uh, Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Present. Present. <laughs> José Ernesto Alemán García. Present, Miss. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar. Present. Eh, Marco Antonio Panegas Corleto. Present, Miss. Mario Antonio Reyes Berganza. Present. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Present, Miss. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Present. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. Noé Aníbal González López. Present, Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Present, Miss. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. And Present, finally, Miss. okay, and finally, Gisela Guadalupe Martinez Cruz. Present, Miss. Okay, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. -bye. Night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Take care, everyone. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Take care.